Welcome to my channel, which is the dad doing dad stuff, and it is Halloween 2023. It is about halfway through the second week of September. Uh, I've been working on this for about a week. Guys, I've reached critical mass here. Uh, if you are a novice Halloween haunted house builder, if you're this is your first year or second year, maybe this isn't a video for you, uh, because I don't recommend doing this until you've been doing this for a few years. Uh, but I have made... Uh, walls. Now these are not uh, framed walls, like real walls. They're more like stage walls. They're made with uh, one by threes, and they're flimsy. Uh, but I'm securing them to each other and to the walls, and up and down, and left and right. Uh, I made them light so that I could stack them easily later. Uh, and again, uh, I, I, if you're looking for cheap haunted house ideas, this is not the video that you want to watch. I'm, I'm already, uh, you know way way overboard this year uh this will be the first room the theme this year is going to be traveling uh curio museum kind of thing i haven't decided the name yet but it's going to be traveling oddity museum of some sort and this first room will be that museum uh and then we'll walk into the second room over here this will be it's starting to rain here this will be the gallery room. There'll be pictures and there'll be a drop scare over here on this panel. I still have to finish that wall. Uh, this is something I built. This is a, the ticket taker booth. Uh, this is actually the mad scientist station. Uh, and this used to be the bottom of it. And it was like gadgets and gizmos and things that light up in there. But now it is the cage for the ticket taper. And I built this out of a couple of uh, pallets that I had laying around. Uh, I might, I think I'm going to uh, get some red tempura paint and mix it with some water and just get get a little bit of color on this. I still want to see this kind of grungy wood grain on it, but I, I also imagine it being red, so I think I'm going to do that. Uh, and then we move into this, this is the uh, this room, and then we move into this room over here. This room I'm calling the red room. I have a uh, an attraction that I'm gonna do this year that I have no idea how it's gonna turn out. Uh, it's going to be a physical optical illusion. I don't know how that's gonna work out. You know, I might ditch this whole thing halfway through and just decorate it like, you know, my old fashioned uh, haunted house because I'm gonna have a whole bunch of leftover uh, scares that I'm probably not gonna use this year because I'm doing everything new. I'm attempting to do everything new this year, um, but if I, if this doesn't work, then I'm just gonna throw whatever I can in here in this in this space. And then we come down this hallway. Now this hallway, I'm going to have uh, tentacles come down from the ceiling here. This is gonna be like, um, I have like slinky kind of tubing, kind of like, uh, kind of like, hold on, like the dryer vent kind of tubing, but thinner. Uh, and I'm gonna have that flail up and down with some, uh, with some cables inside and a wiper mower. And then we come out here and this will be the end. Now this is gonna be a dead space. I'm probably gonna put my uh, my bicycles, all this junk, bicycles and tools and stuff in this side. I might have someone just sit here and like behind a, behind a shroud or something in a costume, uh, maybe for a last jump scare, uh, but it is optional. I don't need that. And then you go out this door, and then that leads you to the back door out the house. Uh, and that's what I'm up to right now. I have just completed the walls. This is what the walls look like with the one by uh, threes. Now again, this is not a framed wall. This is a stage wall. I, I, I should have looked up uh, how to build uh, stage walls for like a, a play production. Uh, that probably would have saved me a little time there, but I put these together real quick and I did this with the least amount of wood that I could and still be comfortable that it was sturdy. Um, but this is not, this is not a wall. This is, you know, it's, it's a quarter inch plywood, cheaper and lighter, which is better for a haunted house because I could stack them up real easy. I cut them down uh, to six foot uh, nine for clearance issues. I wish I could have gone to the ceiling, but they would have all been different heights. Um, and this height gives me, I could have gone to seven foot, but six foot nine uh, gives me a little bit of extra clearance that I could actually lift these up and not worry about bouncing some against something against the ceiling. Uh, and this is a barricade from, from last year. This barricade is from last year, but I extended them up. 
Um, and again, guys, you don't you don't need any of this for a haunted house. Uh, you can go get some uh, black plastic, like 40 by 20 black plastic, and just you know staple it to the ceiling, and then use your scares as barricade. This is this is a little extra. Uh, so if you want to know how to do a haunted house on the cheap, please look at my videos from previous years uh, where I did everything cheap.